What's up fellow Actitos? So today uh, we're gonna be replacing the front um, stabilizer bushings um, on this uh, 96 Honda Acti. It's an HA4 um, all-wheel drive Acti box truck. It's the one I've been uh, servicing for the past uh, couple days. I did uh, new brake pads. I did spark plugs and spark plug wires yesterday which holy cow that turned out to be a uh, big project within itself so the box um, they cut a hole in they cut a hole in the back where the engine cover is and I'll show you Yikes. So uh, actually you can't really see it but to get better with the camera so they cut a hole where the cover is so you can get access to the engine but uh they didn't make it big enough so i had to physically uh, move the box and bolt the box and move it lift it up move it um so i could get the spark plugs and spark plug wires out so man if you got a box truck acti cut that hole open bigger for the engine because it's all i mean every active guy knows um it's tight as it is but that thing not being cut all the way was it was impossible and not to mention the spark plug so it being stuck in there i don't think they ever changed the spark plugs and spark plug wires because it was the look like the factory plugs and they had seized inside the distributor cap and the coil so i had to physically take the coil out and pick and get the prongs that are on the end of the spark plug wires and man that an hour job turned into half a day just to get the dumb spark plug wires out of there man what a pain in the butt but it's okay we learn it's all a process so uh i had so the lady wanted me to give her a list of stuff that needed fixing so like i said i did front brake pads because those were shot uh, spark plugs, spark plug wires, um, air filter, fuel filter, oil change, inspect the belts, everything looked good. And uh, the left motor mount is ripped. So I'm gonna be doing a new motor mount on the left side, which I have a video of doing that. So if you're interested in doing a left motor mount, um, like I said, I have a video showing doing it on the red Acti out there. And this one is manual, that one is automatic. So make sure you get the right motor mount for your manual or automatic transmission. They are different. And that was the whole video I made because it's super easy to change. I just wanted to make a point that, hey, the motor mounts are different depending on your transmission. Um, part numbers are different. Okay, so back to this, the stabilizer bushings. Um, so I don't know if this is a truck thing or a van thing or a year thing, uh, my 95 KS4 does not have a front stabilizer bar. I think 92, 91, and 90 only had front stabilizer bars. So this does, I mean, sway bar. This does not have a sway bar. Um, my 96 does not have a sway bar, but my 92 KS4 has a sway bar. So you can do like the cool anodized gold end links on your sway bars and the sand bars. But so where I was going with that is the red Acti has a sway bar and this one just has like a stabilizer bars coming off of the lower control arm. So, so if you're getting an Acti, you're in the market getting an Acti or you have an Acti and you haven't noticed this, I'm trying to get a good picture. Here we go. This stabilizer bar going back to your uh, lower control arm. Um, the bushings, the bushing, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it's cracked. So it's good to replace that because obviously that's gonna make your uh, sandbar, your Acti feel a lot more stable, um, maybe less death wobble as they call it. And obviously her being new to an Acti and all that, it's probably gonna be safest just to replace any ripped bushings that have anything to do with stability on these cars 
because um, they do get a little squirrely when you're going fast because I don't think they were designed to go <laughs> over 60 miles an hour. So we're going to be replacing those bushings. And what we're going to be doing uh, is we're going to be replacing them with these Quiet U, um, these Moog, uh, Moog bushings. Um, I found this in the Acti uh, Facebook group uh, that the, these Moog blue bushings um, should fit up in the front stabilizers and these feel very solid. So that's probably going to stiffen up the front end um, just a little bit and make it nicer for anybody who's driving this. So that's what we're going to do. I'm waiting on the left motor mount for the back um, from Japan since that's a very specific part but those are kind of universal bushings so yeah let's uh i gotta, gotta get her to get that rust off of there but yeah let's uh let's get to it okay so first we're going to be disconnecting it from the lower control arm so you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter wrench for the top so let's go ahead and get that off Okay, got the nuts off. Uh, the bolts feel like they're stuck in there, so I'm assuming it is under a little bit of load, so we might have to jack up um, and release some of the pressure off of the control arm. I've never done this before, so we're gonna learn, but uh, might have some pressure on it right now, twist it up. So I gotta get a, uh, that looks like maybe a 17, I'll get a 17 ratchet get that off so yeah that's a 17 mil uh, it's kind of tight for a deep socket so you kind of have to run the ratchet halfway in the socket to get the uh, bolts off or you could probably run an extension past the front bar here but we're gonna get it this way until i slip and bash my hand Lots of uh, uh, lipstick on the, the pig, I think as they call it. Lots of black paint down here. Try to make it look nice. So, kind of makes threads a little sticky. Actually, uh, I might need, might need a little help. So we'll take the washer off. There's our bushing. That bushing is uh, seen some better days. Yeah. That bushing is very much uh, cracked. So we're gonna get this one. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, a little worn out. So I think I gotta. I think I gotta jack it up a little bit to get a little pressure off of that control arm and then we'll pull it, pull that, that bar out. There we go. All right. So there she is. Probably put a little bit of uh, anti-seize in there. Yeah, I mean that what that bushing cracked. And that one cracked as well. So these uh, new ones are definitely stiffer than these. These are pretty soft. So that's we want a stiffer steering and diff, uh, stiffer, definitely a stiffer feeling than these uh, soft squashy. Uh, bushing so let's uh let's get it cleaned up in there a little bit patitos actually i have uh, some rubber polyurethane bushing grease so we'll put a little bit of, of that in there so it gives it a little keep the boots a little happier maybe hi patitos 
Little patitos there. Oh. Hi, little patitos. Woo! There's one little patito. Oh, there goes a bunch of little patitos. Snowman. Oh, little patito. Let's see if we can catch him by surprise. Hi, little patitos. Woo! Hi, patitos. Hi, snowman. That one is a snowman. Hopefully a female, so Snowflake has a partner. Hey! They're at the pecking each other stage. Hey, knock it off, patito. Be nice to each other. All right, back, back to work. Okay, so I got some, uh, some power flex uh silicone assembly grease so we'll put some of this in there um i got these when i did the sway bar and bushings and all that good stuff on my mini i kept it because i'm a hoarder okay so you're gonna if you get this set this moog set off of amazon you're gonna realize that uh they're two different sizes so we're just gonna want to make sure that we put the correct um you know, one big one on one side and one little one on one side. So you're not two big ones on one side and it's not gonna work correctly. Okay, so actually I'm gonna uh, take a brush and clean that up real quick. We'll get some of this rusty. Rusty snaggleberries. Okay, so I'm gonna put a Be nice to each other. Hey, what's happening? Okay, so you're gonna need to run the old washer since these ones are a little bit fatter. said I've never done this before so we're we're learning with this one so I got the short bushing back there sitting in the the cup and then I have this bushing here with the old uh, the old washer so what I'm gonna do is tighten that down which is then gonna compress these and then once I get it compressed and this pulled forward a little bit then we can then run uh these bolts back down through since they're not exactly lining up right now so we gotta tighten that back down right now let's do that we got some visitors hi little patitos hi what's the matter is someone picking on you it's okay patitos come here let's see we got indy we got nibbler is that you, Nibbler? It's okay. It's okay, Patito. Where are the rest of the Patitos? Are they outside? 
Hi, Patito. Uh oh. I see him running. Here they come. Patito is in here. Hey. Indy. That one keeps pecking. Hey, buddy. Hi, bud. Over here, Patitos. Uh oh. You guys want to hang out in here? Yeah? Hey, Indy. Hi, little patitos. It's okay. You guys can hang out in here if you want. Hey, Indy. Cut it out, buddy. Hey, that's not very nice. All right, back to work. Okay, so I'm tightening the 17 mil. Not up front here. Hi, little patito. Hey, Indy. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna put you in timeout again. Do you wanna go in timeout? All right, I gotta intervene here. Okay, those suckers are as tight as they go. I got it, it cinched down, so it's very snug. That's gonna be very tight, tight uh, response for sure. And uh, I realize you can just kind of push on the lower control arm and then it will, uh, you can get the, those bolts back up on top. So I'm going to uh, get those cinched down uh, right now. Uh, gotta get the, the nut bolt through a little bit more. Very hard to do this one-handed. Alrighty. Well, got the, uh, the lower bolts back in on the stabilizer bar here. This thing cinched down pretty, uh, feels like a good preload on that bushing. So this thing's probably gonna be super, super tight. I'll do a, uh, a test drive after and give you guys a, a report on how it feels. But not too bad. Um, since they are a little bit larger, uh, it takes a little more work. The bushings are a little bit larger. It takes a little more work to get them in there, but it, it's certainly going to be feel, I'm sure it's going to feel a lot better than the stock soft little rubber bushings. Um, but you're going to reuse the old giant washer. Don't, can't, these ones won't fit because it's got to sit inside the cup a little bit. So... Yeah, and it looks looks pretty slick with the blue bushing down there. And I added a little Power Flex um, assembly grease on <clears throat> the shaft that goes through the the bushing, just to give it a little uh, lubricant so it doesn't wear out the bushing right away for a while, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the other side um, since you already saw this side. Don't really need to do that. But I'll do the other side and then I'll take it for a little test drive and I'll tell you guys how it feels. Oh, all right. After a couple, couple good battles with those uh, stabilizers, got them on, fully cinched up, tight, good to go. So we're gonna give it a uh, test drive and see how it handles with the uh, stiffer bushings and replacing them with the new ones. All right. All right, calm down, wipers. Okay, so I got a pretty bumpy driveway and uh, after taking it down the, uh, the driveway, I'm gonna just drive it to the end. I'm gonna drive it to the end of my street just to make sure everything's good. I don't want it falling apart on the customer. Uh, this thing is way more, the steering is way more responsive and the front end feels uh, way, way nicer. Uh, I would say those uh, Moog bushings made a huge uh, difference in the performance of how it handles. Steering feels way good. It feels a lot stiffer, not all loosey-goosey. 
Um, you actually got to give a little crank to get the wheel to turn, not in a bad way, but in a like this thing's much stiffer and feels a lot safer. So yeah, that thing, that did great. Definitely, uh, if you got the front stabilizer bars that come off of your control arms, I don't, again, this is a truck, might be different than the vans or just the years. Um, these are a, a nice upgrade for sure. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I was helpful. I kind of tried to do it quick and I was getting attacked by the little patitos. So uh, hopefully it all made sense. Uh, see you guys on the next one.